At the time of President Kennedy's assassination, Lee Harvey Oswald lived in a Dallas boarding home. No news organization has been allowed inside for nearly 50 years until now. Sunday morning correspondent Tracy Smith shows us the role it played in history. Oswald reportedly showed up at this house at 1026 North Beckley, wordlessly grabbed a few things from his room, ran out the front door, and into history. Oswald left the boarding house and started walking southeast. Only hours after the shooting, a photographer snapped this photo of the home's owner, Gladys Johnson, standing next to Oswald's bed. The world has changed a lot since that moment, but this place seems to be frozen in time. This is the room? And this is the room. Oh my goodness, it's tiny. It is a small room. Gladys Johnson's granddaughter, Patricia Hall, was 11 years old in 1963. But her memories of Lee Harvey Oswald are clear. What did you think of him? What was your impression of him? He was just another guy. My grandmother appreciated the fact that he kept his room neat and clean. He didn't monopolize the bathroom, because when you've got five roomers sharing one bath, you don't need somebody to monopolize. He was just a regular guy. There was, it seemed, nothing about Oswald that would draw anyone's attention. That is, until that day in November. Did you kill the president? No, I have not been charged with that. In fact, nobody has said that to me yet. Uh, the first thing I heard about it was when the newspaper reporters in the hall uh, asked me that question. What was her reaction when she found out what he had allegedly done? She was scared, humiliated, and in fact, she even destroyed the sign-in sheets showing that he had paid his rent. She just wanted to erase him. She started getting hate mail, death threats. Because she had rented a room to him. Correct. Once the hate mail started, Hall says her grandmother became more defensive and stopped answering the door for TV news reporters. In fact, the only filming inside the house after 1963 was when a man named Oliver Stone asked to shoot a scene there for his 1991 movie, JFK. A man shot the president. Pat Hall also says her grandmother was a bit rankled by the way police searched Oswald's room. When the authorities came, they dumped everything on they the They dumped everything in. They just take, took the sheets and just grabbed them and walked out. You can see the full report by going to cbsnews.com and clicking on Sunday morning.